April Frederick coming at you with another video. I'm over here at Trump International. It is packed over here today. I had to pick something up, do a little business, but it's a Sunday afternoon. It is a beautiful day. AC's working great. It is currently 101 degrees out at pretty much noon. So I figured I'd take you along for a ride. So you into it? Let's do it. Which way should we go? Look, look at these look at these trucks. These trucks are a trip. <laughs> They're like Rose Bowl parade floats. All right, come on. You don't let me go, bro? A, a freaking taxi cab just let me go. A taxi gave me the right of way. I feel so special. Look at the beautiful clouds today, the beautiful sky. You'll forgive the air conditioning noise. They didn't do too much cloud seeding this week. So we have a pretty natural, beautiful blue sky. Hope everyone is having an absolutely amazing day. I know I will. I got up super early, ate a pound of bacon, drank two cups of coffee, ate some butter. <laughs> That's my typical breakfast. Well, I wouldn't call it breakfast, but it just happened to be around breakfast time. So let's go, uh, let's go for a little cruise, head home. I got a ton of editing to do. Got to prepare the live stream schedule and all the HeyBroFrederick.com stuff for this week. Video's coming out about that. I think I'll put it out tomorrow. All the changes that are taking place on YouTube and on HeyBroFrederick.com. And I appreciate everyone who signed up, uh, I think it was last night, for uh, my streaming service. You guys are awesome and I will not disappoint you. I have not been to this place yet since they opened. That used to be, uh, what the heck was it? Strip Burger, and now it's called Happy Camper. I like the motif on the outside. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I have not been in there. I will add that to the list. We'll go on a little adventure and go scope it out. See what's what. Traffic does not look too bad today. That is cool. Bright and sunny. Straighten that camera out a bit. So I'm going to take a leisurely drive. I want to pass the Mirage too and see what the what what over there. I know they did not tear down the volcano, but they have indeed moved the Mirage Arch over to uh, what do I call that? The Neon Museum. And the Neon Museum is expanding maybe to house the arch because it's enormous but i'm sure they do good i haven't been over there in years because they have a problem with uh what they consider professional photography you can go there and take selfies and all that but you cannot make a youtube video that's why you're not <laughs> never going to see a youtube video on that place they will yeah they will copyright claim you or they will just stop you they're like hey you're making a video yeah, because they paid a lot. I get it to a degree. They paid a lot of money to have all those signs, the property. So they don't want people watching it for free. They want people to pay. But that, in my opinion, is kind of short-sighted because in the grand scheme of things, if I show you some clips from that place, you're going to want to go because a video is just not going to do, you know, seeing an Aladdin sign from the 60s justice compared to being there in person, taking your own selfies blah 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 but a lot of these uh companies in vegas are indeed a, extremely short-sighted when it comes to video and how the internet really works they're living in the freaking stone ages but that is what it is look at it in this direction there is not a cloud these cranes and if you don't know that is phony that is phony af over there that's just a tarp over a steel uh structure that was supposed to be condominiums 
but that might be getting defunct from what I've heard recently. That's been there for years and years and years, almost as long as Fountain Blue when they were sitting as a skeleton. Fountain Blue is like, they're, they're sucking wind over there. Losing up to half a million dollars per day. All right, Mirage. Let me, let me tilt the camera a little bit. So it's not the arch on this side that they removed. It's the one on the other side. They, they wasted no time. They started this like the next day after they closed. Closing night was fun. Go check out that video, the last walkthrough. But as you can see, the volcano is still indeed there. I might leave the camera on this jaunty little angle. This is the arch that they hauled away. Yeah, I kind of like that angle. You guys dig it? I dig it. The killer is live in Las Vegas at the Coliseum. Uh-oh. Is that a good thing? I don't think I've ever heard of them. I must live under a rock. I don't know. This was supposed to be torn down for F1. They got the permit. Never happened. And consequently, that was supposed to be where their grandstands were going to go. So they didn't make a dime from letting people watch the race, per se. The traffic has not started. The F1 construction is not slated to kick off until the very first or second week of September. And currently we're in the third week of August. So, oh my God. <laughs> got another uh, got another two weeks before the nightmarish traffic starts. Because yes, they are going to have to recondition this road. I don't care what they say. I see the dips, I see the I see the muffler drags, I see all the stuff, and this is not ready. They do have to do some work on it. They're also paving the other side of the street, which I'm a huge fan of because the other side is just pothole after pothole. I mean you can bury a you know, you can bury a small animal in some of those potholes. I'm glad they're doing it, but that's just gonna completely cluster F everything else. They're going to be putting a bridge. This is Flamingo right here. So they're going to be putting that bridge back, the temporary bridge, which they should have left. But businesses in the area were complaining that they were losing business. I get it. Um, so they took it down only to put it back up four months later. So that's going to hamper crosstown traffic. It's going to be interesting. It's definitely going to be interesting. Not as bad as last year, but freaking yikes. <laughs> this year is going so fast. I can't wait. It just hit 102. Started out bad. 115, 125, 150, whatever the heck it was. Now it's in its stride where it's, you know, 105 every single day. Which, eh, not a fan, but it is remotely tolerable but in another month it'll be 199 105 97 that type of weather and maybe cooling off a little at night because it does not cool off at night does not like three in the morning it's still a hundred warm Should I be a tour guide? And on the right, the famous Bellagio Fountains. This is where the, the new construction is going to end up for the Bellagio, in case you heard about that, or in case you didn't. Oh, you could hear, uh, oh no. <laughs> don't, I gotta keep talking. Don't, don't claim me, bro. Don't claim me. You can hear the music inside the vehicle. Dun, 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 dun. I'll just dun, 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 over it. <laughs> and is this Mr. Pavarotti? I might have to mute this son of a gun. Wow, that is loud. But I don't care. It is a beautiful day. Did not anticipate running into this traffic. <laughs> I guess uh, 
We're going to be sitting in a little bit. I might make the turn down by the Cosmo or something like that. We'll see. I like doing these little drives, give everyone a little taste of Vegas, and it's so bright and clear today. I thought you might appreciate it. They're starting to advertise F1 in town. Like, if you see over there, that billboard is advertising F1. Uh, the V put an F1 car on their property, and who else did it? Oh, Caesars has one displayed also, and the pop-up places where you can buy your F1 gear. They've been starting to, you know, come to life. And so yeah, this town is gonna be getting ready for the F1 activities. It's only, shit, two months from now. Three, well, three months from now, technically. Not a lot of people in town. Town has been dead for the past couple weeks. I think everyone kind of maxed out their credit cards. All right, is this guy going to let me in? A freaking taxi let me in, but a California driver will not. <laughs> oh, that, oh, those are one of my people. That's a Nevada. All right, I apologize to you Californians. This is Harmon. That billboard is pretty freaking intense. I question their, their changing that for a few million bucks or whatever it was, but it's pretty intense. It just adds, I don't know, either adds or distracts. I don't know what it is, but it is pretty cool regardless. And they are building a new one. That's the thing now. They're building a new one in front of New York, New York. They're ripping down that old classic sign and doing the LED. LED's where it's at. And they say maybe electric, but you can just stack it with more advertising. You know, follow the money. <laughs> You'll know why they do it. This is the only bridge right here that um, has the signs that say you can't stop and chill and all the rest of that. That bridge has always been notorious for, you know, illegal busking and... Uh, how would I say, street pharmaceuticals and things like that. Even though the ordinance does apply to the entire town, technically you're not supposed to stand still, if you could believe that. But that's the only one that's actually enforced, and it's the only one that has signs announcing the NRS code that you can't. And that's what it really was. It wasn't for the people and, you know stopping people from doing selfies it was all about you know getting the illegal activity off i like i call this the can the glass canyon glass canyon's cool want to go through the um uh, let's go through the back of city center real quick does anyone know you can actually do this watch we'll stay to the right watch this that guy had a long night. <laughs> Holy cow, bro, wake up. Does anyone know you can do this? I smell bacon. Where's that coming from? That smells good. I'm going to go home and eat some more bacon. That smells awfully freaking good. Take a little detour. All right, I'll give you the full experience. I'll be a tourist for a moment. Aria Valley and drop off. This is a shortcut. You can cut right through the middle of this place. There's the tram. See the Bellagio, the Cosmo. And here we are. On your right is the Vidara. I like the Vidara. Even though they, they always effed with my car when I was over here. Lost my glasses here, got flat tires here. And that they only have valet parking, in case you didn't know. They do not have self parking. And then you just head down this ramp. This is a fun ramp. The faster you go, the better. <laughs> as long as there's no cross traffic. All right, we good. Back in the glass canyon. 
put that forward. All right, people, I'm going to go head back to the rest of my bacon, the rest of my stuffs, the rest of my Sunday. I hope you are having an absolutely freaking awesome day. I hope you're enjoying your weekend, your Sunday, and I completely look forward to seeing everyone real soon. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, and join me for live streaming, because that is going to be my predominant live streaming platform over at abrofrederick.com. And on that note, Bro Frederick out. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.